Hello everyone, my name is Joey and this is Bertoni Motors, my section of the internet where I have the freedom to talk about cars and motorcycles to my heart's desire. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Okai ES20 Neon Electric Scooter. If you're deep into the scooter world, you may have heard the name Okai before. They've been in the shared economy scooter marketplace for years and now they have a consumer scooter model available for direct purchase. So a while back, Okai reached out acknowledging my passion for cars and motorcycles and they were interested in getting my review or my perception on a different form of transportation, an electric scooter. So the last few months in Michigan have been pretty terrible. A lot of snow, sleet, cold days, all of that. But it's finally summer and we finally have some beautiful weather. So we're gonna jump on the scooter and we're gonna really see what it can do. Now, this isn't my first time riding an electric scooter. I've loved riding scooters around bigger cities like New York City and Berlin when I was living there, but I never thought about owning one myself. But now that I'm on it, I can see how this could make a solid addition to any garage. A great feature of the Okai Neon Electric Scooter is the suspension. There are two layers of suspension at work. There's a front 8.5 inch pneumatic tire and integrated hidden shock absorption technology that makes navigating these Michigan roads a much more comfortable experience. Now let's talk about the features of the Okai ES20 Neon electric scooter. So Okai states that it takes about four hours to charge the scooter from zero to 100%. Just to be safe, I usually just plug it in and have it charge overnight. So Okai has developed a smart app that allows you to control the scooter completely from your phone. So unlocking and riding status, color changing lights, the ride history, diagnostics, battery information, and ride settings are all controllable from this app. It's called the Neon ES20 scooter because there are two different lights, one up here and one underneath that are fully customizable, different patterns, different colors, and it's fun because it kind of, you know, jazzes up your ride and a little individualistic. In the center of the handlebars is a digital display that shows key features of your ride, the battery information, your speed, and which mode you're in. Um, and there are three different versions of that to help customize your scooter even more. And something else is that you can unlock your Neon ES20 scooter with an included NFC card. Just tap and go. Okai lists the top speed of the Neon electric scooter at 16 miles per hour, and I have no issue pushing it to that limit. And with the front electronic brake system and a rear disc brake, I can safely bring the scooter to a stop quickly. So I just spent the last hour beat bopping around my neighborhood on the Neon ES20 scooter, having an absolute blast. But it was time that I thought I'd pull off and go through a list of the pros and cons of the scooter. And at the very top of that list for pros is just how good it looks. The matte white paint, the stainless steel finish, the simplicity of the scooter overall, it's just stunning. It really is a good looking scooter. Not only is the scooter well designed, but it's very well built. When I'm out riding on the roads, it feels very solid under my feet. No complaints at all. And the next pro on the list is the iPhone app. Just with a few swipes, you can do a lot of things like set the maximum speed, change the neon lights, change, change the LCD display and what it looks like. But I think the coolest part for me is that it has a built-in GPS tracker that shows me my route, shows me my maximum speed, shows me all this information. And obviously, like you've seen my excitement through this video, one of my favorite features of this is neon lights. If you followed this channel before, you know I've got a true passion for neon lights on cars and having it on a scooter just elevates the whole package so high. And then along with that, we're on the road, it's nice to be safe and be seen. The headlight and the brake light work well and I am fully confident that um, cyclists, cars, motorcyclists, they can all see me while I'm out there. I think one of the most important features is how easy this scooter is to fold down and carry with you, making it very simple to like ride to work, fold it on down and bring it up the stairs or wherever you're at. It's super simple to fold. There's a little silver lever down here. Push that down, open it up and the bars collapse. And with the list of pros, there's always going to be a list of cons. 
And the highest item on my list of cons is basically security. I've seen how people treat scooters out on the streets, throw them in the rivers and whatnot. I wish there was a way to attach a U-bolt, attach some sort of lock to the scooter so people realize that it is personal property. And while it is easy to fold, sometimes quick errands like running into the grocery store or something, that seems a bit tedious to do that and it would be nice to just kind of lock it out front to a tree or a bike rack. And second up on my list of cons is the kickstand. And while it may look great, unfortunately it didn't withstand two gusts of winds when I was out in front of Starbucks. It, the wind caught the scooter facing this direction to the strong side of the scooter and blew it down not once but twice. Third con, which kind of really isn't a con, but you could always use more power. Um, this thing zips to 16 miles per hour and I think that is plenty for the roads, but you guys know me, you know this channel, you could always use a little more power. Now, who is this scooter for? It's for a lot of people actually. You know, if you're a commuter within a city, um, if you just wanna go zip down with your friends down the sidewalk or the boardwalk, anytime that you just wanna you know, get away from your car and you just need to go somewhere, something like a scooter works just fine. While I didn't test the scooter from full charge to empty, Okai states that the Okai ES20 has a 40 kilometer range with one full charge, which is a little over 24 miles. That's likely in absolute perfect conditions. I did about four and a half miles and the scooter is now at 70% battery. It's definitely enough to get you in around town. Now, thank you Okai for sending off this ES20 scooter to me. I've enjoyed every moment that I've had of it so far. And if you're interested in learning more about Okai's offering, head to their website, okai.co. But Saturday night in Michigan, the cars are on Woodward. I'm gonna take the scooter over there. I'm gonna show off the neon and see some good sights.